So I wanted to do another video. Maybe I'll do a bunch of these. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to do another video on first principles for losing body fat or getting leaner or just getting healthier in general. Most of the time people come to me and they say things like, I just wanna lose 20 to 30 pounds. So looking at first principles, I think we have to understand and implement some self-awareness. Uh, understand ourselves, know thyself, because we are going to know what's best for us as far as what's gonna hold us accountable. And sometimes we have to explore a little bit to figure out what that is. We don't always automatically know it right from the start. I don't know if I really understood how I was motivated or what I needed in order to hold me accountable to certain things in my 20s, but I certainly learned it after some self-reflection and some self-evaluation. So that's always good to find out what holds you accountable. And sometimes it's not the thing that you wanna do. So what do I mean by that? I mean, sometimes we require incentives or even punishments. So a good example is maybe you tell your spouse, if I don't do this thing, within this particular time period, I am going to donate money to a cause I absolutely hate. Now, I got this from Tim Ferriss. This isn't my own idea, so I'm not taking credit for it, but I think it's kind of brilliant because, man, if you really wanna be under the gun and you wanna to try to accomplish something, tell your spouse that you're gonna give a bunch of money to a cause you absolutely hate if you don't facilitate doing the thing by the time that you say you're gonna do it, okay? So that's one way to hold you accountable. Another really easy way is, investing in yourself in some capacity. That could mean hiring a coach, somebody like me or Pamela. I don't think you necessarily have to hire either one of us, but I do think it's a good idea to hire somebody. I hire people all the time. I actually uh, paid money to a couple of coaches that I really respect, and they have programs that they're uh, writing for me from a strength uh, training perspective, so I'm paying for somebody to write my workout programs for the year. I'm perfectly happy to do it. It holds me accountable. They have uh, you know, uh, things in which I'm following which makes it really easy for me. I don't have to think, I just do the thing that they ask me to do. And sometimes it's an uncomfortable thing. Sometimes they want me to do things that I don't really love doing. And that's actually really, really good for me. And I've put skin in the game because I've paid for it. Okay, so that keeps me that much more accountable and it really adds a huge layer of accountability. So that's something to keep in mind. Paying somebody, putting skin in the game is a huge uh, motivating factor for staying accountable and holding yourself accountable. So don't be afraid to do it. You're investing in yourself, which is probably the best thing you can do. We don't have infinite amounts of time on this earth. And you know, I'm not trying to meander into like too crazy, serious territory, but for real, life is not a dress rehearsal. So if I can collapse time and learn more in a short period of time, I'm willing to pay for that. I'm willing to pay for it. I'm willing to pay for expert guidance. I'm willing to pay for somebody to help me get there faster. And that's what you do when you invest in yourself and you hire a coach. Same thing when you listen to a podcast or buy a book. I mean, there's, there's easy, uh, low-hanging fruit to do first that you can do, that you can implement. Uh, but don't be afraid to hire an expert to collapse time because time is the most valuable, non-renewable resource that we have. All right, first principle. All right, take care.